This is running stitch. Bring your needle up and then back down ahead of your exit point. Take a step forward and then bring your needle up again creating the same stitch as you did before. By the way, this pattern is available for free download. You have the link in the description box, so go ahead and enjoy! Next up we have stem stitch. Bring your needle up and then back down as if you create a simple stitch, but leave your thread loose. Then go back up from the middle of the space you created and pull the thread. Again, go back up a step ahead, leave your thread loose and go up from where your last stitch ended and pull the thread. Keep going like that. After every stitch, knot the thread close to the fabric in the back of the hoop and cut the excess off. Another good basic stitch is back stitch. Bring your needle up and then back down creating a simple stitch. Then take a step ahead and bring your needle up and then go back down from where your last stitch ended. Keep going like that, taking a step forward and back to where the last stitch ended each time. Now split stitch. Bring your needle up and back down, creating a simple stitch. Then bring your needle up from the middle of your last stitch, through the thread, and back down ahead the length of your desired stitch. Keep going like that, pulling your thread through the middle of the last stitch. Number five is chain stitch. Bring your needle up and then back down close to the exit point. Leave your thread loose and go back up a step ahead from your last stitch. Bring your needle through the loop you created and pull your thread. Now create a new chain by going back down close to the exit point, leaving a loose loop. Bring your needle up a step forward and pull the thread through the loop. For the last chain, go back down over the thread of the chain. 
Satin stitch is also a pretty easy basic stitch. Fill the shape by going from one side and go back down from the other side. That's it, just keep filling the shape from one side to the other. Fly stitch, that's a cool one, it's pretty close to chain stitch. You need to bring your needle up from the left top of this upside triangle and go back down from the other top side and leave your thread loose. Then go back up from the point in the middle, pull your thread and then finish by going back down in a straight line from your last exit point. French knots. So bring your needle up and hold tension of the thread with the hand that doesn't hold the needle. Then twist your needle around the thread while holding the tension and then bring the needle back down close to the exit point. It doesn't look easy, but you need to practice it a while and then it will look much easier for you. I have another special video just for French knots. You can see it in my description box and also up here. Okay, so number nine is cross stitch. Bring your needle up from the top left cross end and back down from the low right cross end. <laughs> then bring your needle up from the top right cross end and back down from the low left cross end. Keep going like that, starting with the top left each time. Actually, you can even start with the different end of the cross. Just be consistent and if you start from one side to the other, keep going the same way. Number 10, long and short stitch. Fill the shape by making stitches in an order of long stitch and short stitch. Start from the top to bottom, making long and short stitches one under the other. Then go back up and make another column of stitches but now switch the other and make short and then long stitches. <laughs> 